Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Stuart and I do tutorials for uh, Lightroom and uh, Photoshop. So if you're new to this channel, welcome. Uh, if you've been to this channel before, if you're a subscriber, welcome back. Thank you very much for dropping by. So in today's tutorial we are going to learn how to cut out an image and place it onto a background but also placing the shadow that comes with it as well. Further ado, let's get down to it and let's get straight into Photoshop. So the first thing I want to show you is how to open up images. There is a couple of methods that you can use. Uh, the traditional way, I guess, um, is to go to File, Open, highlight the images that you want to open and then click OK. So there's that method. There's also this method as well. Then once you've done once you've done that, then you can place your image onto your background or whatever image that you want to use. Normally you would just go up to here, press and hold it. As you see that the cursor has changed. Uh, then release by then release the button and then you can scale up or place your image wherever you want. So there's that method. Let's undo this. All there is you can go to file, come down to script, and where it says load file in into stack, you can either Open up files already in your window, like this, and do that. And again, it will stack them. You just place this down here so you can see. There's that method. And just close this one down. And save. Again, go to File, Script, Load Files onto Stack. You can go to your browser. And again, do it that way. And there's your files up. And again, you open up again. As you see, this one has got a shadow. So we want to retain this shadow. And I'll keep the add uh, with this image. But first off, I just want to get rid of this camera because I just want to focus my attention onto this one here. So the way I'm going to do this is to get the lateral tool, draw around it, and then go up to edit, content aware fell. And this does a fairly good job. So just click OK. And we're all right. Don't have to worry a bit about this because we're not going to use this part of the photograph. We're just concentrating on our main subject, the camera, and the background here. So we can just get rid of this layer. We don't need this one anymore. We're just going to call this one camera. And what we're going to do next is to go to our content aware. Just go click over to our object select tool and just highlight it. Just zoom in a little bit. just little areas here that didn't quite pick it up. So again, Alt, Option. There you go, just like that. And again over here. Over 
here as well. Okay, it's not a good job. Just a little bit. Alright, so that's done a fairly good job here. Just go to our select mask and go with layer with mask. Okay, so now we just want to copy this layer and go to command J. But we don't need this mask anymore. Just take this down and out. Delete. So what we do need to do is just to click this on the edge and convert this to a smart object. So once we've done that, so what we need to do now is to go up to our top uh, layer and click onto the mask and click on it and then go to Alt Option and drag it down. So we make another copy of it. All we have to do is to invert this mask and then go up to Properties. If you don't find it in your window, you now to go up. If you don't find it in your panel, then go up to Windows and then click on it there. And then go in, make sure that you highlight this one. Your shadows, we'll just name this to shadows. There you go. Make sure that that's highlighted and click invert. But there's a easier way than that. I'll just undo that. I'm going to highlight it again and then go option shift, click on the mask and then bring that down that's done that already so go back to our layer i'm going to hit multiply and then from there we could go up to our image adjustment layers and go to levels as you can see we have our background we're just going to drop our levels down a bit until we don't see them, and that's okay. That's cool. The reason why we made this into a smart object is because it's non destructive. And if we need to go back in again, all we have to do is just click onto the levels and we can go back in and change anything that we need to. So the next thing that we want to do is to make this um, shadow a lot more believable. But before we do that, I'm just going to turn off this layer. And as you can see, there is some outline of the camera when we made a mask. So we'll just go into our brush tool by hitting B, go over to the layer mask, make our brush a little bit bigger, and we can just go in, oops, make sure that it is on black, you can hit X, and go between them, and just take anything out that's left behind. Remember not to take away the mask, not to take away the uh, shadow. Okay, put that back up there. It's looking good, fairly okay. So I still see a little bit of whiteness going around there. Just increase this a little bit so we can see what we're doing. Bring, 
max convert increase up what's the size okay that looks a lot better all right so now what we're going to do is just take a sample from our layer background layer it looks okay then go up to our adjustment layer and go to solid color maybe a little bit darker and adjust that later and then bring that up top here and then make sure it's a clipping mask doesn't look very good at the moment but we're going down and creating color and now we see kind of blended in and if we need to adjust it we can click onto our levels go up to our midtones and we can either increase it a little bit more or decrease it just about there looks okay so there you have it now we have our um, how to cut out an image and to retain the uh, shadow uh, onto a new background. So there's several things that we learnt uh, in this tutorial. Uh, learned how to cut out an image, uh, then also how to invert it, and also how to uh, turn your image into a smart object, and how to use uh, levels. You know, play around with it until you get something that looks right. I think that we did a fairly good job here. So again, uh, thank you for watching uh, to the very end. Um, please hit that uh, notification bell. Uh, please hit the uh, subscribe button and uh, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video and if there's any other videos that you would like me to cover. Uh, so I'll, I'll say goodbye. Take care. Bye.